So, I've been getting bored with feminist type of topics lately and moved on to other things, but I saw in my recommended bar it said, anyone who denies rape culture exists must be a sociopath or something like that. And I was just going to ignore it except like when I looked at the thumbnail, I said, this guy looks familiar. Is this Vigo the Carpathian from Ghostbusters 2? I got a picture of Vigo the Carpathian, and the resemblance is only a passing resemblance, but in my defense, I was unbelievably stoned when I watched that movie, and if you weren't stoned when you watched that movie, well then, I don't know what to say to you other than you're just not living life right. Anyway, here we go. Hi there, YouTube. Some men's rights activists and other misogynistic assholes Say there is no such thing as the rape culture. Well, let me do some splaining, Vigo. Here in the America, and see, there's a lot of MRAs in the United States and Canada. Now, I haven't been to Canada, but I like, I think of it sort of like the United States, only with a lot more weed and a lot fewer guns, and like people are occasionally polite, but basically the same. Anyway. If you're from the United States, you pretty much think of the United States as the world. Like, the, this idea that there are other countries, I mean, that's just crazy talk to an American. Proceed. I didn't quite grasp the concept of rape culture. It's just so far away from my way of thinking that I, it just didn't click for me. But then uh, somebody sent me a couple of links about rape culture, what it is, and I used uh, an hour or so reading up on it, and I'm a very fast reader. Rape culture apparently is a concept used on societies or communities where there is victim blaming. Well, you know, people's minds and the things they think about and the way they think about things, to a very large extent, is shaped by the culture that they live in. So, Mr. Vogter, either you're some sort of crazy fucking recluse, you know, disconnected from your culture, or you do not, in fact, live in a rape culture, because as you just said a moment ago, it is the furthest thing from your mind and your way of thinking. One would think that were you to inhabit a rape culture, it would not be the furthest thing from your mind. It would just, you know, it'd be a part of your mind. You'd be like, oh yeah, well, this is called rape culture? <laughs> I thought victim blaming was the shiznit, yo. Anyway, I'm just saying that you don't live in a rape culture. Continue. Where the victim is blamed for being raped, attacked, defiled. This is the case in many cases of rape in India and Pakistan and, and, and other countries like United States of America. Well, see, Pakistan, India may as well not exist if you're an American. And by the way, I mean, of course, India probably has a rape culture. I mean, they have that fastest growing population of any industrialized country on the face of the fucking planet. It'd surprise me if they didn't have a rape culture. They probably have like a double rape culture. But that's not what those MRAs were probably talking about, they were talking about, you know, the ones here in the United States and Canada where there isn't a rape culture. And by the way, Mr. Vogter, you swishy little Dane, I happen to live here in the United States, and if there was a rape culture going around, I would be aware of it, and you, living in Denmark, getting high as a kite, would not. Okay? Proceed in some places. It, it is just... It baffles me that there are people who think that a rape victim is to blame for her being raped. The only one to be blamed for a rape is the rapist. Blabity blab blab blab, no fucking shit. But you seem to be drifting off the central topic, the primary thesis stated in the title of your video, Rape Culture, Only Sociopaths Deny It Exist. Well, as far as I'm concerned, looking around this country that I live in, it doesn't exist. It may exist in India, but I mean, the...
people I see and hear talking about rape culture aren't talking about India. They're talking about it like it's here, but it's not. You know, just as a, a little experiment, uh, this goes back a few months, and I never really got to, you know, say it online, but what I did was I'd be hanging out with random groups of only men. you got to make sure they're only men. And I would uh, make a rape joke. And you know what the guys would be like? They'd be like, whoa, 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 what, 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 what's up with that? Right? Every time, not a single exception, no matter how lowbrow the guys happen to be, okay? You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Bogter. You just don't. India, fine. Double rape culture, all, you know, stipulated. I'll agree to that. But these MRAs you were talking about don't live in fucking India. I would bet any amount of money that not one of them lives in India or Pakistan. Go on. And anybody who doesn't think that is, in my eyes, a sociopath. Oh, I see. Well, so... That sounds like a reasonable statement. Uh, anybody who thinks that the victim of a crime is to blame for their crime is a sociopath. I don't think that's actually right, but it's a reasonable thing to say. Because, I mean, sociopaths, they're generally very utilitarian, and they don't deal in shit like blame. But that's a bit of a bit. Okay? But what you've done is you've taken that statement, and you act like it supports the main one. Rape culture only sociopaths deny it exists. There's a big difference between denying that rape culture exists and blaming the victim. I mean, maybe you just thought we'd all be too fucking stupid to notice. And why should we trust you? You know, you put rivers of slime underneath New York City, and then you tried to reincarnate yourself as a baby, okay? You're evil. Don't, don't think I've forgotten about that shit. Have a nice day.